Cancer, I hope you're doing well. My name is Vince, welcome to 7D Tarot. Cancer, today I'm gonna to pull your money and career energy, your love energy. I'll see who's coming and going and if there's any travel on the horizon. Now Cancer, if you have a certain amount of money you would like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you're interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her and stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from your spirit guides and your spirit animal. All right, so let's dive right in. The first card that came out was the Five of Swords. So right now your angels and guides are telling you that if there's any sort of resistance anywhere, there's resistance anywhere. And what persists, resists, right? So ask yourself this, is there anything in life that you're currently doing that you feel like you're efforting, you're forcing, and you're only doing this because you feel like it's the right thing to do or it's like the practical approach or the analytical approach because right here you got to understand that that energy right there of trying to force it or effort it is your angels and guides showing you that there's another way the other approach and i'll give you an example maybe right now you are going to a job and when you're going to this job you're telling yourself mm, it's not really the place i want to go to how i want to spend my time but you're telling yourself oh just do this because like what else is out there and right now your angels and guides are trying to show you that maybe there is something else that you should be doing so they're going to bring signs in front of you to, to show you. For example, when you go to the car, all of a sudden the car doesn't start. You're like, what the heck? After 10 minutes, it finally starts. Then as you're driving, you hit construction. When you hit construction, there's a detour. As you get, do the detour, you get lost. You get to work, you get there late and you spill coffee on yourself, now the boss is mad. Now, you saw sign after sign after sign after sign that there's some resistance there. This applies to everything in your life. Diet, you know, dating someone, relationships. Right now your angels and guides are showing you, telling you that they're going to be showing you different paths. Now, the same path path of maybe this isn't the job for you, there may be a path of this is what you should do. So for example, driving to work, it's effortless. And then you get there, everyone's happy. You got the perfect everything in front of you. You get a promotion immediately. That's a sign to stay there. So a lot of signs are coming. Now look at this. Talk about opportunities. Seven of cups. We got the king of pentacles, king of wands, the strength card, six of cups beautiful energy your inner child is definitely trying to speak to you now you got the queen of wands king of wands that's a synchronicity five of cups death card the hangman so this energy once it's cleared everything else is in motion and right now you got the world which is a travel card and the four swords and the higher fan so beautiful energy now cancer your affirmation for today write this down quantum entangle with this is uh wealth is my birthright being wealthy is my birthright being wealthy is my birthright yes it is you are meant to be wealthy you are meant to not not only experience what it feels like to, you know, have to pay off your bills, you know, monthly, but also have enough money in your bank account where you don't have to even know how much money is there if you spend it. This is something your angels and guides want you to experience. They don't want you to just suffer. This is planet Earth is about contrast. Salty food, uh, spicy food, tasty, uh, sweet food, or for example, something cold, but something hot, right? Right now, maybe a little pain, but joy. The pain portion, you're not meant to be there for long, just like a hot burner, just touch it. Oh, okay, don't wanna do that again but you're meant to be in abundant energy. So right now, quantum entangle with this, let your angels and guides know you welcome, invite wealth into your life. You command, assume, expect to be wealthy because being wealthy is your birthright. Write this down in the comment section, quantum entangle with this energy. Now, speaking of being wealthy, look at this. You got the seven of cups and the king of pentacles. Yes, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Your angels and guides are telling you that not only are you meant to be wealthy, you are going to have several opportunities to embrace this energy. These opportunities are going to come in form of synchronicities. So for example, your angels and guides are going to bring people into your life in many, many different ways and ways you don't expect that are going to be here like almost like angels, right? Steering you in the right direction. Now, it's your responsibility to be in a vibrational energy, to feel good in a sense that when these opportunities come, you see them for what they are and you're able to take advantage of them. Now, what does this mean? Why would you need to feel good? I'll give an example. I'll use something that's easy to relate to. Imagine like a toothache, right? If your tooth hurts and someone's talking to you, you're almost like, yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't matter what they're saying. You're like, oh my goodness, I can't even think of this. So that's what's going on here. Imagine I replaced the toothache with any sort of trauma, limiting belief, shadow, right? Any sort of, you know, human filter, something happened. Now your mind's in the familiar past or the predictable future. And then you're not 
not ready for the present moment. So that's why your angels and guides are telling you that this is a time to really, really summon up that inner line within you, keep your energy in the present moment. And right now they're going to be showing you and helping you, uh, delivering signs to you of things that are not working in your life to close these chapters, right? This is when you're aware of them. This is so important. So when these signs come, don't dismiss them. Tell yourself, I see, I see. And you can always tell that this is a sign from your angels and guides because it's telling you to do something to improve your life, right? For example, I'll show you a sign that I, I had, right? So I remember like I was eating a lot of, I was working late night doing my Amazon businesses and I was eating a lot of chips at night. I don't even, was it chips? I probably was chips. It was rice crackers. It was, but it was like the flavored rice crackers. And I'm talking a lot, right? So I'd be up all night eating these like crispy minis, crispy minis. Let me know if you guys like them. I'd be eating crispy minis eat these a lot. Now, there's nothing wrong with eating junk food, but if you're eating it every single night before you go to sleep and you're sleeping on it in your stomach, let me tell you, next day when you wake up, it's not pleasant. So I remember I knew I, I got to stop doing this, right? So I remember I went to go grab the crispy minis one night and I grabbed the bag to open it and it wouldn't open. And I tried forcing it and it blew up and it went everywhere. And anyone that eats this knows that it's like, you got to like vacuum it after because dust is everywhere. So I cleaned it up. I did it again. And the odds of it happening twice are slim to none. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I cleaned it up again. Now I finally cut the bag open and I put it in a bowl and as I grabbed the bowl, it fell, it, it fell out of my hand, slipped and, bro and broke. It wasn't wet or nothing. It was one sign after another that like, listen, you've had enough. This isn't going to go well. Don't make us intervene and prevent this from getting to a portion that you may get sick from this. So why don't you listen to us now? So it was a clear cut sign of time for a change, you know? And this is the energy that I feel. Now your, your, your change, I feel like it's going to be more of a... Uh, I want to say kind or more of a more positive sign because I do feel here the fact that you got the six of uh, cups here and the hierophant that this is an energy that your inner child has wanted for quite some time. So it's going to be more of a positive sign and then you're going to feel such a sigh of relief that when this change happens. And I also do see here the possibility of travel on the horizon for you during this time frame. So really getting yourself to be more in a baseline, neutral energy right now. This is all that matters. The more that you're in that baseline, neutral energy, that's when you're gonna realize that, oh, life doesn't need to feel efforted or forced or, you know, it's supposed to be effortless. And when I say effortless, it doesn't mean like you shouldn't have to do anything in life, but when you do something, it should be easy. Like for example, you ever have a conversation with someone and the hour goes by and it felt like 10 minutes? That's because you're in alignment, right? That it is, it's you're in a flow state. Like, so for example, you were flowing. Or you ever do a task and that task gets completed so much easier than you thought it would be? That's because it's supposed to be effortless. So that's what's going on here. Right now, your life is supposed to be effortless. So anything you see like you're forcing or grinding to make happen, that's when, you know, just let it go. Let it go and a new chapter will open. Now look at this. Your beautiful animal spirit is dragonfly spirit. Truth transcends illusion. So that's what your angels and guides are reminding you right now. Don't worry about if it's realistic, practical, analytical. Right now, the truth is something that is far more, you got to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibrations. Everything is supposed to be like ebb and flow, right? Like even a conversation. If you have a friend and when you're together, time just goes by, that's a beautiful conversation. But if you have a friend and you just kind of like, oh my goodness, every all the topic of conversation is about like comparison or like, you know, judgment, then it's like, you know what I mean? So right now, just, you know, deep down inside, like when I say the words love, happiness, joy, peace, tranquility, wealth, your birthright, angels, guides, source. Makes you feel good, right? Now look at these words. Jealousy, animosity, hate, anger, pain. Huh, right? It almost felt like you're huh, holding your breath. That's because you're out of alignment with your energy. Now look at this beautiful card. One of my favorites, acceptance of love. It's about the divine masculine and feminine. You really, such a beautiful energy here. And right now the message is, here we go. If I can find it. That's my singing voice. All right, so. This image is a representation of harmony of opposites, masculine and feminine. You have the ability to, to give love freely to yourself and to others. It is important to understand that you are whole, complete, and perfect now and will enhance the life of another. Love can happen. Love is the truth of all situations. Love the soul embodied inside you. This is the most important part. When you love yourself, everyone loves you. Trust me on this, right? Loving yourself <laughs> puts you in such a vibrational frequency that when you walk in a room, people are like, 
like, whoa, cancer, you're glowing. What happened? What's going on? You ever have people ask people that? Whoa, you're, you're, you're glowing right now. That's because you're in such a magnetic energy. So right now, loving yourself, understand that you are a beautiful soul. The things that you have done, like you, again, you got to give yourself credit. That means celebrating the small victories. When something good happens in your life, don't be like, yeah, it should have happened. Embrace it, welcome it, be there, own it, right? If someone like gives you a compliment, don't just say, ah, oh, thanks. Be like, I truly appreciate it. I am pretty nice, right? Thank you so much. I work hard on that. Own it, love it, and then everyone else will love it as well. All right, Cancer, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, follow your passion.